In this video, we find lots of gate pattern examples. This puzzle stays pretty tricky until the end. We use the gate pattern at first, but then we find other techniques to help us get it solved. This is Expert Sudoku by Nikolai Publishing, pub puzzle number 272. Thank you for watching. And thanks for all of your great comments and likes on my previous videos. If you like these videos and haven't done so already, please click like and click the red subscribe button. You can also click on the bell icon to be notified every time a video is published. To start, I'll explain the gate pattern, and you can learn more about patterns and techniques on sudokuprimer.com. But the gate pattern is where you have two numbers in a row or a column, like the 9 and 5 here or the 6 and 2 here, and then you have a cell in between them. And when you see that, you can look for a number that goes through the gate, as I say, like this 7 goes through this gate. There's a 7 here in this column already. So we know the 7 is constrained to this column right here in these two cells. You can also have a, um, a gate like this 6 and 1 here. Um, this 9 goes through it, but there's not a 9 over here, so, that, so it, it constrains it to one of these 4 cells. Now this 5 here goes through the, through the gate too, but there's a 5 here also, so the 5 here is constrained to one of these two cells. And let's use that gate right here to find a 5. We've got a 5 here and a 5 here, so we have ghost 5's there, a 5 there, so one of these is a 5 in the middle row. There's a 5 in the, these two columns already, so that is a 5 right there. All right. Now, here's another really good example of a gate. This gate here with the 4 and the 2. There's a 3 going through it and an 8 going through the gate. We've got a 3 here, so one of these is a 3. We've got an 8 here, so one of these is an 8. Which makes, um, makes it 8, 8, 8, and 3, 3, 3. So these are 3, 8 twins here. All right. Now let's look at, remember this 9 going through the gate here, and we knew the 9 goes in one of these four cells. We've also got a 9 here and a 9 here, and with the 3, 8 twins we just found, we know the 9 has to go here or here. So using double row elimination, that eliminates these two rows for this box, and we know the 9 goes right there. All right. There's only one number left here, and that's a 7 right there in this row, because we know these are 3, 8 twins. There's also a 7 down here. We've got a 7 here, ghost 7 is here, and a 7 there, so that's a 7. All right, now we've got a 2 here, and a 2 here, and a 2 there, so that's a 2. All right. Now let's look. So we put it, put this two right here, and there's a two here. So we know um, the two in box three goes here or here. All right. In box six here, the two has to be in one of these four cells. So using double column elimination, we know the two has to go here or here. We've got a 6 here and here, so these are two 6 twins, and we can solve them with that 2 there. All right, now there are only two numbers missing in column 2, a 1 and a 4. There's a 4 there, so we can solve those. 1 and 4. And there's only a 1 and a 4 left here in this column. We can also see there's a 4 here, ghost 4 is there, so 4, and 1 here, ghost 1's here, 1. 
Um, so we can solve them. All right. Now, with a 5 here and a 5 here, that's a 5. And we also know that's a 5 right there. And that's because we have 5, 5, 5, but we have a 6, 9, 6, 9. So these are 6, 9 twins here, so that can't be a 5. So we put the 5 there. All right, there are only two numbers left here in row 8. That's 3 and 9. So we can fill those in. All right, now we've got another gate here. Uh, the 3 goes through this gate. There's a 3 there, so we have ghost 3s there. So we have a 3 there, ghost 3s there, so that's a 3 right there. All right, and with this 3, we can solve the 3 8 twins we found earlier. And we've got um, six nine twins here, one eight twins here, and one and eight missing in this row. With that eight, we can fill the one and eight in this row, and we can fill in that one right there. All right, now we we're only missing one, three, seven, and eight. One, three, seven, and eight. There's a 1 and an 8 here, so we know these are 1 and 8, and we can solve them. And we have 3, 7 left, and we can put those in. All right, now we have a 4 and a 7 left in, in column 5 here that we can fill in. All right, and now... <clears throat> We've got a um, one and a six here, so we know these are one six, one six twins, and that leaves a two and a nine here. We can fill in the two and nine there because of that nine right there, and that leaves a two 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 in box eight. And now let's look at this a little bit. What are we missing? here in box 8. We're missing 1, 4, and 6. We've got a 1 and a 6 here, so using the unique rectangles rule or the ambiguity rule, since these are 1, 6 twins, we know these can't be the, um, the same, 1, 6 twins. We have 1, 4, and 6 here, so if this is a four, it wouldn't work because we'd have one six twins here, and that wouldn't that would violate that rule. So we know the four can't be here. So the four has to be in one of these two cells. We don't know where yet, but it has to be in one of these two cells. We've got a four here, ghost fours here. So we know that is a four because we got a four there. Right. Now let's do that same thing. Um, in box 7 here. We got 6, 9 twins in box 8 and we're missing 3, 6, and 9 here. We've got a 9 there so we know one of these is a 9 but we we don't know where the um, 3 and 6 go yet but we know that 6 and 9 are here. We can't put a six and a, six nine twins here because of the unique rectangles rule again. So we know that these can't be six and nine. So the three has to be in one of these two places. And the three, there's a three here already and a three here. So that's a three right there. All right. Now we have six and nine left, and there's a nine there, so we can solve them. And therefore, we can solve the 6 and 9 up here. All right. All right, now um, let's look at this one again. We have 1, 6 twins here, 1, 4, and 6 here. We've got a 4 and a 6 here already in row 9, so that we know, we know that is a 1. So it can't be a 4 or a 6. Now we can't solve these two now 
yet, but because of this 1, we can solve the 1 6 is here. And because of being able to solve those, we can put a 4 and a 6 in here. All right. Now, at this point, we've pretty much done um, all the difficult stuff. We've only got four boxes here with four numbers each missing. And uh, we can fill those in pretty quickly. So I'll just fill those in for us here. And we're done. So the gate pattern can be tricky to see, but it can be quite helpful once you get familiar with it and used to it. And I hope this video helped you find the gate patterns and understand it better. Well, thank you for watching and stay safe out there.